Then place a sheet of non-woven paper between the display and the keyboard to protect the display. Use the P5 pentalobe driver to remove six screws on the lower case. Lift the lower case by the suction handle. Insert one corner of an opening pick into the gap under the lower case. You should feel and hear the clip pop free. Both sides are opened in the same way. There are also two hidden clips which can be opened by gently lifting the lower case. Lift the front of the lower case. Do not lift as well high and pull the lower case away from the display hinge to disengage the last two hidden clips. If you can't pull out with your hands, please put a plastic card to the position of the display hinge. Hold the middle of the plastic card and fold it back with proper force. In the meantime, use your other hands to pull to remove the lower case. Remove the lower case. Peel up and remove the insulating sticker covering the battery board. Use the spudger to flip up the small black locking tab securing the cable in its connector. Use the T5 Torx driver to remove the screw of the battery power connector. Use the P2 Pentalobe driver to remove the two screws of the battery board. Use the T3 Torx driver to remove the screws of the trackpad cable connector bracket. Disconnect the trackpad cable by gently prying its connector straight up from the logic board. Lift the battery power connector, disconnecting the battery. Carefully peel the trackpad cable up off the battery. Use the T3 Torx driver to remove the screws of the logic board. Use the T5 Torx driver to remove the screw on the side of the logic board. Use the spudger to disconnect the speaker connector. Prepare alcohol or adhesive remover similar to the one in the picture for removing the battery cells. Alcohol is easier to buy. You can buy it in a nearby store. There is a trackpad at the bottom of the middle battery cell. Be careful to avoid damaging it and do not put alcohol in here. Put a plastic card to the edge of the battery cell. Slowly pour about five drops of alcohol along the plastic card and slowly push the card to pry up the battery cell. Please be careful with the speaker. Don't squeeze too hard. Make sure the battery cell is separated from the upper case. Repeat the above procedure to separate the other side of the battery cell from the upper case. Make sure the battery cell is separated from the upper case. Please be careful with the speaker. Don't squeeze too hard. Make sure the battery cell is separated from the upper case. Put the plastic scraper card to the edge of the battery cell and slowly push the plastic scraper to pry up the battery cell. Make sure the battery cell is separated from the upper case. Please be careful with the trackpad cable and do not squeeze and damage it. Make sure the battery cell is separated from the upper case. Put the spudger and the plastic card inserted into the gap between the two fans and the logic board. The logic board will be lifted slightly. Lift and remove the battery. Please note the trackpad cable connector interface. Remove the spudger. 
Use the spudger to shovel up the edge of the adhesive. Try to keep the adhesive intact, then you can remove it completely from the upper case. Pick up the new battery, adjust the position alignment and then put the battery down flat. Remove the spudger and the plastic card. Slowly remove the clear protective film from the new battery. Use the P2 pentalobe driver to install the two screws into the holes. Lift the battery cell, tear off the adhesive paper film on the back of the battery cell and adjust the position and slowly put it down. Lift the battery cell, tear off the adhesive paper film on the back of the battery cell and adjust the position and slowly put it down. Lift the battery cell, tear off the adhesive paper film on the back of the battery cell and adjust the position and slowly put it down. After putting the battery cell down, you can press the battery cell repeatedly to make the new battery fit tightly to the mat. Install both speaker connectors. Use the T3 Torx driver to install the screws of the logic board. Use the T5 Torx driver to install the screw on the side of the logic board. Put the trackpad cable flat along the middle battery cell. And use the T3 Torx driver to install the two screws. Press the battery power connector flat. Use the T5 Torx driver to install the screw of the battery power connector. Make sure the small black locking tab that secures the cable is closed. Put the insulating sticker covering on the battery board. Cover the MacBook then hold the lower case close to the display hinge area. Please keep a small gap, it does not need to be completely closed. Press the middle and both sides position of the lower case, ensuring the buckle has been locked. Use the P5 pentalobe driver to install the screws on the lower case and pay attention to the length of the screws. Then you can start to use the MacBook now. Thanks for watching.